What's going on folks, it's your man Jay Will, and yes, I'm back in the house. Finally got this beast. It's underrated, look at this camera. You, you see this? Let's get this unboxing going. I should've got this phone a long time ago. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay Will. So as you can see here, this is the LG Think, LG G7 Think or Think Q, whichever, you know, they're gonna, <laughs> they're gonna uh, decide to, however you wanna pronounce it. Uh, I don't know, but um, wow, uh, let's see here. Oh, so right here at the beginning, it lets you know where you can turn off the top of the display there. So for now, I'm probably gonna go ahead and just turn that on because I wanna see the effects of it. I can go back into settings later uh, and, and turn it off if I want to. But let's get signed in here to the Wi-Fi. And we'll take a hardware tour of, of the phone. It automatically picked up uh, <laughs> my um, information looks like. I don't know how I did that, but. You can grab this phone for a very low cost right now, man. It's unbelievable. This particular color and model right here is what I wanted, and I'm pretty excited about that. So I'm gonna get uh, signed in here, and then uh, I'll come back in just a minute. All right, just a quick run through for the fingerprint reader. We're gonna add our fingerprint readers, our fingerprints on here for the scanner. So let me know how to do it. So let's add another one. That went a lot faster than I thought it was going to go. We'll see how accurate this fingerprint reader is. And let's go ahead and go through here. Then we'll do a hardware tour and everything and uh, get this thing going. So you got the Google Assistant with the one tap right there. I think that's kind of hot. That's a good look. All right. So all set, let me see how the screenshot is on here. Yep, it's just how I thought. So um, let's, do a, let's do a hardware tour real quick. Um, I use my fingerprint reader right there. LG Docs, man, all this stuff. They want you to agree to a whole bunch of stuff. Let's go more, this is all optional. Optional, this is the one that's required. Let's go. This is crazy how you gotta. All right, so we in. Gotta love that old LG thing. Uh, let's do later. But here is the device, man. This is all getting set up. I should have bought this phone a long time ago. I really should have. Yeah. So right away when I swipe over, it lets me know the home screen set up. All the screenshots are for social media for later on, if you're wondering. Uh, but this, it tells you how to do it. Swipe down. Like that. Home button. Let you know how to get through them. There you go. So, um, this is a good look, man. This is a, this phone right here, I should have got this a long time ago. But I was slipping. <laughs> we all make mistakes uh, when, we're, when we're making purchases. Uh, and you know, we kind of get caught up in the hype, but let's go into the settings real quick and then I'll give you a hardware tour. So let's change this to list view. If you don't know, I like list view better. It gives you the screen resolution here. You can now change it on all these phones, which I think is crazy. I'm leaving it at the highest one. That's just how I do it. Um, you got the scale app. Let's change this to 10, 15 minutes. All I like it's got 15 minutes. Now let's give you a, um, let's give you a, let's mute this volume, man. Let's give you a hardware tour real quick. 
obviously as you can see I wouldn't want the they call this um, uh, on, on the website there's so many different names uh, for this so I'm gonna tell you like the official uh, what what uh, Google uh, project Fi is, is calling it right now uh, because it changed like it's kind of weird they changed it from one name to the next so um, the the name that it says right now uh, man, it's a lot of vibrations going on there. The name that it says right now, if you go on there, it's going to say matte blue. But if you purchased, um, and it's so strange, they just recently updated this name uh, to matte blue. It's, you know, I don't know why they changed it uh, like this, uh, but it's so strange. Um, Moroccan blue is what it's officially called but i guess they decided to change it to um matte blue because it is technically a matte blue uh, i'm just, just doing all my applications back up you know what i'm saying so um but yeah man um hardware tour uh oh i hit the google system button this is i can see i'm gonna be hitting that a lot i gotta might have to disable that but on the front here obviously uh you got this this beautiful um display man you got the 6.1 inch Quad HD display 1440 by 31 uh, by 3120. Uh, you got obviously you got the 16 megapixel on the back. You got the wide angle lens. This version has the four gigs of RAM with 64 gigs onboard storage, 3,000 milliamp hour battery. I do have a battery case that I got coming in, uh, so be sure to check back for that video as well. Uh, but um, you've got uh, I, this just this display is just fantastic, folks. Uh, so you do have that cut out up there, but at the beginning of the video I showed you you can you can cut that off or make it not display if you want to uh, Here's the type C. Here's the headphone jack the speaker route the microphone down there And obviously you got your laser autofocus and you've got the LED flash and you got the dual camera setup with the fingerprint reader on the back And that, that fingerprint reader works very well folks as you can see I barely touched it then you got the SIM tray up here and another microphone up there. Uh, power button over here. You got the Google Assistant button here and the volume rocker here. Now, like I said, this color, uh, mono, uh, Moroccan blue or matte blue, is what they changed it to on the website now. Um, this is, to me, the most beautiful of them all. I like a matte feel like this. So it doesn't attract a lot of fingerprints. And then I don't have to really wear a case if I don't want to, but I do have a case set up. And I'll show you that in, uh, in another video. Uh, along with the uh, other battery case that I got this phone right here um, Like I said, I should have got this a long time ago, man I really should have I don't know what I was thinking about skipping it the only thing that held me back was the price and You know what? It's sad that I took that route because this phone is actually Totally worth the price, you know <laughs> Now that I have it, you know what I'm saying it's like what the heck was I thinking man? So let's go to home screens and see if we can turn off and swipe up for our, our um thing here yeah app tray there it is right there so um you can do it to where you swipe up looks like app drawer let me see i wonder if you can have it with the app i'm gonna do it real quick i'm gonna turn that off I hit okay and let's see yeah that's that's what i'm talking about right there so i like it with the swipe up i don't like the the app tray down there at the bottom uh the little icon yeah so let's drag this out Put this down here. Let's move this over here. And we get this thing popping, man. The way I like it set up. But yeah, man, um, I'm super excited to finally get this in, man. This was kind of a, one of those situations where I messed up. Like I said, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, I, I kind of followed the masses and I don't normally do that. Uh, but I'm really happy to finally get this phone in, man. This is a hot joint right here. Uh, the type C to fast charge. It's just the unboxing, but it's doing through my setup. So I wanted to let you know I have another powerhouse in the in in the building, man. Snapdragon 845. I mean IP68, uh, military grade 810 rating. You know what I'm saying? It's got the nano sim. This is on Project Fi. You can grab this for $440, folks. That's a fantastic deal. The front camera on here shoots in 1080p at 60 fps. So my front facing vlogs. We all know that, you know, I've always gotten on to LG for the weak front cameras. Let's see how that works. The V30, I love that phone. The only thing I didn't like was the price. And I was probably wrong for that. But, uh, and I didn't like the price and I didn't like the front camera. So let's see if they rectify some of those things in the G series. 
and uh, we're gonna get that get this thing popping. So for now, this is just the unboxing of the LG Thin Q or Think, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but it's your man Jay. I hope you enjoy. Stick around for more videos, man. I'm out.